Hello, Jane Cameron here, University of Stirling Art Curator. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about Alec Finlay um, and his Bee Library. Alec's an internationally recognised poet and artist who was born in Scotland in the 1960s. He studied English at the University of Stirling in the 80s. And his work considers how we as a culture, as a people, as a nation, relate to the landscape and to ecology. I recommend you look at his website and explore some of the fascinating projects he's been developing recently, including his ambitions to make wild places accessible to everyone. In 2013, Alec was funded by Leverhulme to be our artist in residence. And he worked in collaboration with Kathleen Jamie, a professor of creative writing in the School of Arts and Humanities. During this period, Alex studied bees and beekeeping and worked with academics from the Department of Environmental Science. He created poems for three beehives on campus, which are used by the local beekeeping society and located over at the eastern edge of the campus near Gardens and Grounds and the Garden of Time. He also created book nests for solitary bees, which we installed in trees around Airthry Loch at the heart of the campus. I think it's fair to say that we all love living, working and studying at Stirling, particularly because of the campus, because of its ancient heritage and its beauty, uh, with the loch at the heart of it. I... I think Alex particularly loved his time here and maybe it, it inspired his, his interest in, in the environment and, and ecology. But who wouldn't love it, especially at this time of year, when the birds are hatching, there's wonderful signets on the loch at the moment. It's so green and, and just so stunningly beautiful. There are 17 book nests to look out for hanging in the trees as you walk round the loch. Alec and I spent a great day choosing appropriate trees and branches to suspend the books from. And the following week, with the help of our estates team, the gardens and grounds team, and several ladders, we hung the nests where they are now, and you'll find them in the trees. They're made of bamboo shoots inside the open book, and they're held together with wire. So in spring through summer, just now in fact, different species of bee are hopefully building cells inside the canes and laying eggs. They'll add pollen and nectar to feed the larvae and block the entrance to the holes with leaves, mud or other materials, you know, something they find on campus. So if you can look closely, if you can stretch and look closely, you'll see some of the bamboo shoots are blocked at the ends, which means they've been occupied. There is just so much wildlife on campus to enjoy at the moment, especially look out for the young cygnets who are just so cute. And of course, um, pine martins, red squirrels, the, the, the ducks, listen to the birds. They're just extraordinary, extraordinarily in voice. And um, look out for my constant companion, Peggy, here, standing by the water's edge. Anyway, I'll leave you there and speak soon.